If you have read that title, sis, you know what we're here to do. Let me put my hair up. Babe, we're not even going to chit chat or none of that. We are here to review the Fenty perfume. I have not unboxed this. I got this earlier today. I said, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and open you when I'm on camera. So if you are interested, find it out about this and just keep watching so this is the first perfume review i have done on my channel i've never reviewed a perfume and i think that's because i've never had one that i've like literally like anticipated like this this is how it came inside of the box um the first thing i just want to point out is this logo is not the traditional like fenty beauty logo do i have something that's fenty beauty in front of me yes this is the traditional Fenty Beauty logo that we see. This is the logo from her Fenty line, the Fenty Cult clothing line. Not Savage, but her clothing line that she had with LVMH, the luxury line. Everybody was wearing the sunglasses. The clothes were cute. It was kind of overpriced, but they was cute. I'm curious about this because does that mean that this line is going to be coming back out because the last i heard that line was done or did they develop this when the line was still a thing and she just took it over and she said you know what lvmh let me head it who knows so we're gonna open the paper okay so we have another oh that little card from rihanna that's the one up here. Sorry, daddy. Okay. So you get that little card with it. Again, this is the same. So you guys remember when Fenty had her clothing line or when Rihanna had the clothing line, this blue was the packaging that all of the stuff came in. No, I'm not on no PR list, but I like to be. Hey, good. Um, follow me on Instagram because up until the days that this actually launches, I feel like they're doing like sneak peek, like, by now for like however long or a couple of hours so i'll post it in my story so if you're not following me on instagram already make sure you follow me so that if you're looking for that you can see it so oh so it comes like this okay i'm a <laughs> all right so you open it on the side it's not a lift open box you open it from the side and it's like in there like that both sides you can see it okay this would be how Rihanna packed it. This is cute. This is Lux. All right, so this is the bottle. Again, we have the Fenty emblem logo on the top here. Top is plastic. The bottle is glass. You get 2.5 fluid ounces, and this was $120. I'm not gonna lie to you. When I went to check out, I was like, is this something else on my cart? It was not. I don't know if she's gonna have multiple sizes of this, if she'll have a rollerball, if she'll have a giant size, if this is a small size, I have no idea. So this is a Eau de Parfum. So let's take a break for a little educational moment. An Eau de Parfum has more perfume oil in it, so the perfume will last longer on your skin. Then you have Eau de Toilettes, which usually are cheaper, and they have less oil in them, so they don't last as long on your skin. I personally like to go for perfumes because if I'm gonna pay for a perfume or a scent, I want to last on me. This is supposed to be a unisex fragrance that is good for men and women. I think this is a scent that is gonna be suitable for fall and winter. So let's see if my theory was right. <laughs> I was right. Oh, we smell rich. Oh, we smell. Oh, it's it intensifies and it kind of changes. Oh, Rihanna. If this is what Rihanna smelled like, she smelled good as hell. It has a really warm, rich smell. And when I say rich, I mean both the coin and just like texture like i don't even know if like perfume can have texture but it just feels like it has like depth spritz lightly because this could be a heavy scent if you put on too much it has notes of musk in it which was on the site so it is a musky scent so if you don't like musk you might want to stay away from it it's also if you are familiar with like oud 
oud i think that's how you say it Oud, which is a very rich very deep scent it's very popular like in middle eastern countries um you get hints of that in here too the thing that i didn't think i was gonna be able to pick up on but i can is the blueberry when i seen that i was like rihanna it would be like rihanna be like yeah sprinkle a little bit of blueberry in there it almost kind of gives you like a whiskey vibe. That dark liquor gonna put that hair on your chest. It's gonna warm you up. This scent, I was right. This is such a fall, winter time scent. If you do want to wear it in the warmer months, I would say this is probably more of like a nighttime, date night type of vibe. And I feel like for $120, that's what I expect. Like I expect this nice heavy bottle. And the bottle is like nice. It's not super gimmicky. Like some celebrity like fragrances can be like super gimmicky looking, super like play childlike, and they be charging you like a hundred plus dollars for it. Okay, Rina. Were we really expecting anything less though? I will say for all my perfume ladies out there, if you have ever tried, I want to say it's the original Elizabeth and James Nirvana perfume. It kind of reminds you of that. So if you are familiar with that perfume, you get vibes of that. That is our first perfume review. And I feel like I'm not saying it's our last, but it's probably won't be that many more of them. I had to pick her up though, cause I just knew it was gonna be good. And she is very good. She's very warm, very heavy, very rich smelling type of lady. So, um, and gent. Okay, so that is it for our review, y'all. Like I said, if you're not following me on Instagram, please do so because when I see that it's available like for purchase, like beforehand, I will let y'all know. I'll put it in the stories for you. So make sure you follow me, all right? Um, if you have questions about it, girl, drop a comment below. I can't tell you much about my shopping experience because I see it available now and I went to the link, clicked it, boom, buy it. I was done in like two minutes, so. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.